really alien land and play is a way of translating that. Play with families, we play with siblings, we play, you know, it's about bringing families and, and children and siblings and the medical team together. I'm Rebecca's mother. There's four children in the family, Christian, Belinda, Rebecca and Xavier, and Rebecca's in the middle. The day that she got diagnosed, we had to go to Port Macquarie for some scans and as we were driving back, they rang and said, just keep driving. It was scary because you didn't know. They couldn't tell you over the phone and we had to drive all the way to Newcastle, which was three hours from Port Macquarie, not knowing what was going on. They, they bring you in and they show you all these pictures on the screen. They show you the really big tumour that's in her leg and then they look at you and they say, you've got a 23% chance of getting your daughter through. That's the scary bit. The impact of play therapy on Rebecca has been very positive. She gets happy when they're coming. It enables her to keep her cognitive skills going when she can't go to school. And it enables her to stay positive and not worry about what treatment's happening around her. Uh, I'm the hospital play specialist here at John Hunter Children's Hospital and I work with 20 hours a week with uh, paediatric oncology and haematology service. Here you go. The, the play therapist will facilitate play. It, it facilitates those activities that allows the children to to express themselves and to communicate with us. Do they wipe it then? Put the green. The cream, yep. Yeah, so you wipe it. So and then put the green stuff. Then on. put the green stuff on it. Yeah. Because it's on an animal or it's on a, a, a toy, it becomes distant from themselves. But they understand what it is and why it's working. It enables them to ask the questions that they want to ask. They can do that through the doll or through the animal. Let's see if we can get this bandage on now. Play therapy has been very helpful. Ronnie comes in with medical play, so she gets her teddy bear and she gets to put the cannula in the teddy bear, she gets to put bandages on the teddy bear. It enables her to understand exactly what's going to happen to herself. Well, I'm a hospital play specialist, um, so clinically I work um, with children on the medical ward um, and also um, other patients by referral, so adolescents, palliative care um, and some other outpatients. I really believe play therapy changes lives. I've seen children that have just not been coping with treatment, with procedures and, and been in such a state of trauma. I have a patient who we worked with for months and months on trying to help him have coping skills for a certain procedure and I'll never forget the day where I walked in and I said, oh, well, shouldn't we have had that, shouldn't that have happened by now? And he said, it happened and I did it on my own and I wanted to see if I could do it on my own and I did. What we try and do is empower children with knowledge and when you empower children with knowledge through those different activities we can they can gain some mastery over the situations that they they will be in with the tests and the procedures. So they build up these skills and techniques that they can then utilise. And it's not only to utilise it in hospital situations, but they'll then be able to utilise these skills in life situations. Process is what you make it. I've stayed positive throughout it most of the time. Becky's stayed positive. We squirt the nurses as they walk in with the syringes. You've got to keep it happy. You've got to keep it going and that's where the play therapy and camp quality and everybody helps us through to keep us positive through the whole process. The culture does change when you've got you know play on the ward and you see it slowly come in and when we're, we're not around you know they they'll miss you and the staff will miss you and want you to come. When Becky's going through her major pain process when Veronica comes in and, and plays with her, it takes her mind off the pain. It takes my mind off her pain. And, and it just enables her to process through that pain a lot easier. Thanks for supporting families just like mine living with cancer. Your donation is invaluable to us and we can't thank you enough.